you start to lose muscle tone. When you start to lose muscle tone, you start to slow down your metabolism. When you slow down your metabolism, you start to gain body fat. Yeah? Now, for those of you that go, well, what's my metabolism? That is the amount of energy that your body uses to burn calories, not only when you're exercising, but when you're at rest, when you're just sitting around. So you find young men, they can eat loads and loads of food, and because they've got good muscle tone, they just tend to burn it off, don't they? But as we get older, those same men could not eat the amount of food that they ate when they were younger because they'd have a tendency to put on the weight. And it's the same for us women, even though we don't hold as much muscle tone as men, we still do hold muscle tone. So this is what starts to happen, and we notoriously hold that body fat around our belly area. Belly fat. Now this belly fat is what we consider dangerous fat. It's called visceral fat. And the reason that it's dangerous is in amongst your internal organs, and it can um, put you at risk of things like diabetes and heart disease and cholesterol and blood pressure and all those things that we spoke about earlier. Okay, so, <laughs> over the age of 35, you are going to put on one pound of fat every year after the age of 35. You are also going to lose one pound of muscle tone every year after the age of 35. So if you're 55, you've probably gained 20 pounds of fat and lost 20 pounds of tone. Hence, your body composition has changed your clothes are feeling different, your body shape is feeling different, and that's called Welcome to the World of Aging. Now, I have good news. <laughs> is it possible to reverse the aging process? Well, it is. And the reason being that you are able to regain your muscle tone. If you regain your muscle tone, what happens is you fasten up your metabolism. What happens if you fasten up your metabolism? You start to shed body fat. You start to shed body fat, you start to reverse the aging process. So no matter, no matter what shape you are in or what age you are at, you can reverse the aging process and get your body back into a healthy body range that allows you to live a life that is healthy, active and injury free. So now I want to share with you how to do that. Sound good? The answer is not diets. As women, now men probably aren't as open to diets, but as women we've all been through the different phases of diets. And we think if we reduce our calories, we're going to lose weight. But the reality is that when you reduce calories, your body thinks that you are in starvation mode. And what happens is your body will actually hold on to fat so you won't lose that weight as easy. You will also find that when you diet and reduce your calories, that your body will choose your muscle tone as energy because it thinks it's in starvation mode. So it says, well, grab the um, muscle tone calories, um, grab your muscle tone and use that as energy because we don't want the body burning too many calories when we're at rest because we want to protect this body and keep it well. So the takeaway is diets are not the solution. So reducing your calories are not the solution. So what is the solution? So that's what I want to give you now. What do you think? Interesting? Yeah. How long have I gone? Kira? Through your kidneys and excreted out through your urine. So, protein 
is an important part of food to A, get back your muscle tone, but B, to be able to keep a healthy body weight. So the number one thing I want you to remember when you are um, putting together your meals is to have a portion of protein. Now what I'm going to do, because I don't have time to go through all the different stuff, is I've actually left my brochures here. And if you're interested in getting examples of me, simply either send me, simply ring me or get onto my email and just say, can you send me a sample? Because I'm happy to send a sample menu of what you should be eating to be able to keep off your body weight. And I've got like a two-week menu that I can actually give you. So if you're interested, just grab one of these and that will help me quicken here. So the first thing you've got to think about is your proportion of your protein. But it's not just about, okay, well, I'll eat a massive steak because we still have to think how much. Does anybody know how much you should eat of a piece of protein? Yeah. yeah. Oh, See, girls are all over this. <laughs> yeah. So it's the size of your palm or a deck of cards. So it's not the massive T-bone on one plate and, and all the other stuff on the other plate. So that is about the size that you want to have at each of your meals. You then want to have a portion of carbohydrate. And once again, if you're not sure about what that is, text me, whatever, and I'll build that to you. Now, with your carbohydrate, there's carbohydrate, carbohydrate, isn't there? There's white food group, which is white bread, muffins, biscuits, pastries, um, sugar, all that stuff. That is carbohydrate, but that is not good in the body because that acts as sugar in the body and can lead you to diabetes and can cause stomach fat. So you want to have complex, unprocessed carbohydrates such as brown rice, um, good quality breads, um, good quality wraps, um, whole meal type, um, unprocessed foods. So you looked at a piece of protein at each meal, you then looked at having carbohydrate, and then you need to have good quality fat. So we have bad fat, which is saturated fat, and we have good fat, which is our monounsaturated fat. So they are fats that um, are basically plant-based. So you've got things like olive oil, avocados, nuts, seeds, all that sort of stuff. So you've got good fat. How much carbohydrate should you have at a meal? Any ideas? Um, grams. Equal to your piece of protein. So about oh, the same size. So whatever your protein is, your, your carbohydrate should be the same. You then have good fat, and good fat is like one tablespoon of um, olive oil, flaxseed oil, something like that, or three tablespoons of avocado. And then you look at green fibrous vegetables. Now green fibrous vegetables are anything green. So if you give me, let's do ten. Okay, here I go. Cucumber, capsicum, spinach, broccoli. Lettuce. Zucchini, beans, celery, beans, lettuce, lettuce, lettuce cabbage, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts, excellent. So you guys have got the gist. Now, having loads of those will help you to lose weight, and you know why? Because they are so low in calories that the digestive system to actually digest this food and break it up to put it through your digestive process, it will burn more calories in the body doing that than what they're actually worth. So for instance, two cups of cucumbers is 45 calories. You will burn more than 45 calories digesting cucumber. So having loads of green fibrous vegetables at each of your meals is going to help you to maintain a healthy body weight and will not put weight on you at all. So it's really, really important to do that. Um, your fruit comes into carbohydrate. Um, quick tip is I tend to say have fruit before lunchtime if you're trying to maintain a healthy body weight. And that's because it does act as sugar in the body. So I could have gone into a lot more deep about that, but I haven't got time. So if you want that more information, once again, get hold of one of these and let me know. But what I want quickly want to explain to you is this is one part of the puzzle as such, what you eat. The other part is what you do for exercise. Because when you think about it, the secret isn't about how you lose weight. The secret is about how you create a powerful metabolism. You create a powerful metabolism 
and you always going to lose weight with ease. And that's young guys, young boys, young girls. They've got fast metabolism and they just lose weight with ease. And so that's what we're going to create. So exercise is the other side of the coin. But it's not about doing hours and hours of exercise every single day. And what I see with exercise is there's cardio, which is working in your heart. There is uh, resistance training, which is using um, to strengthen your muscles. And then I see, I put it here as power walking, because I see lots and loads of women doing power walking. Which of those three exercises do you think is the best to lose weight? Hands up if you think cardiovascular exercise is the best way to lose weight. That's things like running, um, step, you know, doing something that raises a heart rate and keeps it there for a minimum of 20 minutes. Who thinks that's the best way? Oh. Who thinks resistance training, working on your muscles, making them stronger is the best way to lose weight? Okay, so we've got two there. So everybody else thinks power walking? Yeah? Some people think power walking? Okay, cool. Well, the best way to lose weight is to do number two, to do muscle toning workout. And that's because... It increases your muscle tone, which increases your metabolism, which decreases your body fat. So once again, this is the type of exercise that you should be doing. Um, the other thing to be aware of is portion control, making sure that you're not having a mass amount of food, making sure that you're exercising regularly, no longer than 30 minutes a day is regularly, that's fine. Um, and basically, because I don't want to break them, because that's good. Actually, 
actually dilute the um, stomach acids in your stomach and hence you will slow down the digestive process. Now your liver decides whether your body is going to metabolise fat or whether it's going to store fat. And if you um, drink water with your meals, your food becomes partially digested. Your um, stomach then passes it on to the next process, which is your liver. Your liver goes, oh, this is all too much for me. It passes it on and basically it creates a sluggish digestive system. And um, you can end up with bloatedness, gas, um, not going to the toilet every single day. A lot of it has to do with your digestive process. So if you're having any digestive problems, don't drink water with your meals. Um, also put um, half a lemon squeezed into warm water um, about 10 minutes before your meals and that will actually activate those stomach acids and allow your um, food to be processed quicker, more efficiently and hence optimally. We've got an afternoon tea we <laughs> <laughs>
Um, yeah, because water does flush out toxins out of your body. The less toxins in your body, the better your liver's going to work. The better your liver's going to work, the easier you're going to find it to lose weight. So yeah. yeah. Any other questions? I was just going to ask, what sort of time frame? If I need to stand up and show you my family, <laughs> my need is you follow all your um, principles. advice, principles. Yeah. Yes. So it's really once again dependent on your body, like everybody is different and I don't recommend diets. So um, we tend to find people lose half a kilo a week because we really don't recommend going the whole, but in saying that, like I've had ladies lose 16 kilos in 12 weeks, but that their muscle tone has got so good, so quick, that their body's just started becoming like a fat burning machine. So it depends if your body um, creates muscle tone easily, and some body shapes create muscle tone quicker than others. Um, if you do have that type of body, you could lose quite a lot of weight. So I give myself seven months. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Any other questions? Yeah. Um, it's got salt in it, so yeah, tonic water will hold fluid in the body, so, but apparently it's good for cramps, isn't it? Yeah, so, okay. Once again, I think everything in moderation, so, yeah, yeah, I'm an in, in moderation sort of girl. <laughs> I guess if I said to you, the best things to remove out of your diet is white carbohydrates, white carbohydrates, white bread, muffins, biscuits, cakes, all that white stuff. Um, ah, we have asked <laughs> 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 yeah, but, um, yeah, there are some beautiful recipes around though using, you know, other good, other good ingredients. But um, yeah, so there we go. But if you're interested in learning more, like I said, just grab one of these. I'll leave some just here, I think. Just let me know, because I do run weight loss courses and I show you how to lose weight and I give you um, the eating plans and the recipes and um, the exercise plans and all that sort of stuff. So if you're interested in learning any more, just let me know. Or if you just want a sample, that two-week sample of what you should be eating, just let me know and I'll send that out.